choice sets before you now. Living or dying, lesson or curses, and know the time has come around to turn from your fighting and rest in His mercies. Choose life that you might live. That he gives, he gives you forever. Choose life the way that is true. From the one who chose you, your Father in heaven. Oh, choose life, choose life that you might be the life that he gives. Say he, he gives you forever. Welcome to Choose Life, a program of All Christians Fellowship Mission, a caring church raising Christ's life disciples who will be agents of transformation in the world. Let's now join God's servant, Reverend William Okoye, for the continuation of last week's message. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 and 6. I want to read from the King James Version and then from the Living Bible. Listen to this. It said, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have for. He has said, I will never leave thee, nor do what? Nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. If you read that from the Living Bible, it says, stay away from the love of money. Be satisfied with what you have for God has said, I will never, never fail you nor forsake you. That is why we can say without any doubt or fear, the Lord is my helper and I'm not afraid of anything that man, man can do to me. The Lord is my helper. I don't know about you. Is the Lord your helper? Then you shouldn't be afraid of what the devil will do to stop you or witches and wizards or the enemies or agents of the devil or even circumstances, circumstances of life. In Psalm 121, I like that Psalm. Let's read it together. Let's read from verse 1. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Put your name there. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth William shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite me by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. He shall preserve my soul. The Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. He is my help. He said, fear not, I will help you. Hallelujah. Many times we are tempted to think that we are the only ones going through troubles, trials and difficulties in life. Have you ever come to that place? Your Christian life where you are wondering, why are things happening to me the way they are happening to me? It appears things are becoming difficult. More devils are fighting me. Or I think that having served the Lord for this long, things will become easier and better. But they are becoming worse. More struggle, more difficulty, more challenges. You see, the higher you go, the devils you met at that smaller level give way. You meet higher demons, <laughs> higher devils. And we need to know that because of some of the false teachings that is flying all over the place. You will never get to a place in your Christian life in this world where you will have no problem. It's a lie from the pit of hell. You can't see any promise like that in the Bible. The promise that God has given to us is the promise of victory. And the fact that he is going to be with us in whatever challenge we face. And the reason why some of us are not as rugged as we should be. I went to one of our churches to preach and the pastor was introducing me. He said, one of the things I found out about this man is that I've never seen him discouraged. 
discouragement is not an option. Don't ever consider that because <laughs> it's not an option. Will the devil want to discourage you? Yes. But will you yield to discouragement? No. I do my own part and leave God to do his own part. <laughs> Hallelujah. So don't think that the problems you are facing right now in your Christian life or in your business, in your family and so on, all the fights you are going through, everything is very nice for other people except you. It's not true. It's the same thing everywhere. It's the same thing. Turn with me to the word of God. First Peter chapter 4 verse 12 and 13. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Christ's suffering that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. Did you hear that? Look at First Peter chapter 5 verse 8 to 11. It says, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour whom resisted fast in the faith knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world you are not alone in this thing <laughs> hallelujah if you read it from the living bible say be careful watch out for attacks from satan your great enemy he prowls around like a hungry roaring lion looking for some victim to tear apart stand firm when he attacks trust the lord and remember that other christians all around the world are going through these sufferings too you are not alone second timothy chapter 2 verse 1 it said endure hardness as a good soldier of jesus christ in ephesians chapter 6 paul told the Ephesian believers he said be strong in the lord and in the power of his might that's not the kind of message children want to listen to if you are going to succeed in your business in the face of all the dwindling economy and challenges and so on god is with you he said i will never leave you nor forsake you but you must know that the devil is committed to attacking you every step of the way to make sure that the will of god for your life does not materialize and if you know that you make up your mind never to give up and count that as part of life and become rugged so that the more you are attacked by the devil the higher you go shout hallelujah there's nothing like victory. When you talk of victory, you talk of victory in the light of somebody who has fought and won. If there's no fighting, there will be no victory. If there's no war to fight, there will be no need for victory. <laughs> Jesus said, in the world, you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, overcome the world. You have all manner of fights, all manner of things the devil will throw at you and your agent to stop you from moving the direction that God wants you to move. You say, devil, you are a liar. God wants me to go this way. I am going this way. No matter the missiles you are throwing up and down, the moment you commit yourself to go in that direction, the devil will receive a red card. He knows that this is not the kind of people who can stop. Let's leave it and go to another people who can chicken out unless you become this rugged you cannot go far in life you cannot go far in your christian life you cannot go far in your business life you cannot go far in anything you do in life because at any little thing the devil throws at you you chicken out shake nearest person to you and say the world is not heaven only in heaven that there will be no more cry no more temptation but in this world there's a lot of them and because god is on my side i'll not fear victory is mine in jesus the moment you act as somebody who knows who you are and your rights and privileges in christ the devil will give way and go and look for people who don't know that you'll be harassing so if we are going to see the full actualization of god's divine plan and purposes for our lives in the face of the dwindling economy and challenges all over the place it is as we ruggedly commit ourselves to go in the direction we know that god wants us to go regardless everybody say regardless regardless once you are certain that this is what god wants me to do put your head there <laughs> move on refuse to be harassed by the devil and distracted by the devil keep on keeping on the moment you move, God moves with you and things work out. And the devil knows that these are not the kind of people who can harass out of the will of God. And some people come to me and say, oh, we have dreams. The moment you bow to the harassment of the devil that way, you will not get out of your house. Anytime you want to move, you will show one dirty dream and you will die. If you want to go and urinate, they say they see dreams. 
If God don't want you to do something and you are a genuine child of God, you pray and you are walking with God, he will communicate to you. He doesn't need the devil to come and harass you for you to start doing this thing. The devil will intimidate you. I can't allow the devil and the agents to harass me out of God's will. It is better to die for something than to die for nothing. Die ordinary death. Because whether you like it or not, you will die. But if you die for something, it's even more important. When you know what God wants you to do, you don't foolishly just uh, put your hand in the hand of the devil. But you know that this is what God wants you to do and you are walking in the will of God. You have to be rugged in order to succeed in life. Especially in the face of follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Spend a lot of time studying the word. Get the word into you. Pray fast when you need to fast. Remain sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Once you know the direction that God wants you to go, put your head there. In spite of all the noise making of the devil, the moment they see, they say, leave this uh, one. We will go after the other ones. We can harass out of the will of God. But if the devil succeeds in putting fear into you and you take it, you are gone. You are going nowhere. You are paralyzed. In closing, let me announce to you that God is with you. Whatever assignment that God has given to you in life, whatever it is that he has determined to do in and through your life and you understand it, commit yourself to pursuing it. The Lord will see you through. The Lord will be with you. The Lord will provide for you. Whatever it will take to see the fulfillment of his divine agenda for your life, regardless of the economy, he will provide in the name of Jesus. Shall we stand and pray? Choose life, Choose life. Choose that you may live, that you may live. says the Lord. Dear listener, thank you for being part of today's program. If you want to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, pray this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I accept I have sinned against you. Have mercy on me and forgive me in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, wash me with your precious blood and give me grace to live the rest of my life for you. Thank you for making me your child in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And for the rest of our dear listeners, gracious Father, bless them and give them the grace to live by the word they have had today. That it might be well with them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. God richly bless you all. You just listened to Choose Life, a program of All Christians Fellowship Mission. I believe God has touched your life through this message from his servant, Reverend William Okoye, the General Overseer of All Christians Fellowship Mission. This message and several others on CDs, DVDs, and books by Reverend William Okoye are available at number 2, Lagoni Close, off Nile Street, Maitama, Abuja. Get your copies now. For bookings, cancelling, and prayer, Call 0803 588 7764. The number again 0803 588 7764. Or log on to www.acfmission.org. That is www.acfmission.org for resource materials. Join our high impact worship service this Sunday at any of our branch churches nearest to you. Jesus saves heals and provides. Let's meet again same time, same station next week for another transforming message from Reverend William Okoye. God bless you. Can choose life